Yeah, I mean, I think the first the first way to, to get around that is recognizing that's a real problem throughout medicine. It's called anchoring. You're anchoring on a diagnosis. Yeah, you can do an ultrasound. <laughs> um, so, I mean, first recognizing that that can be a problem, right? You can anchor on a diagnosis. You know this is a diagnosis, and come hell or high water, this is what I'm treating. So trying to avoid that pitfall, uh, you know, altogether, and that's a tall order. Um, so be aware of it. Uh, the next thing is, is that if they're not responding to your medical therapy, so if you're given that nitroglycerin and they're getting worse, step back, ask yourself, maybe there is something else wrong, right? There is other things that cause chest pain that are life threatening and make sure you're running that list in your mind and you're taking the necessary actions to rule that diagnosis out. Um, I mean, I think my best answer is no, know that that exists. Try to avoid anchoring. I'm going to actually put in a rare plug in favor of CT scans. I've been surprised at the number of time that we anchor upon chest pain as an ACS thing. And of course, I use ultrasound before that because you're definitely picking up a lot of the stuff before you could ever get them to the scanner and back. Um, but I think that a CTA of the chest and you're going to have to figure out what it is that you're most worried about when you're gating this. There's the, the dream of the triple threat of one scan that can rule out coronary occlusion with the coronary CTA. PE with the CT angio of the lungs, as well as ruling out aortic dissection, isn't quite there. At best, you're probably getting two out of the three, and you're not really doing an adequate job of ruling out all three. That being said, if you talk to your radiologist and you got a good radiology department, you can say, look, I got this guy. Here's what I'm looking for. I'm more worried about X and Y, a little bit worse, less worried about you know, the coronary CT or something like that. You're going to pick up most of those guys with your opponents, but a CTA ruling out PE is going to pick up most, but not all, aortic dissections. Um, most, but not all. And of course, this is going to be with ultrasound because Rich is right next to me. Um, but, <laughs> uh, but, but CT, I think, is a commonly forgotten thing if you're really not sure what's going on. It's going to answer a fair number of things. You'd be surprised the occult um, pulmonary diagnoses that you can find with just a good old-fashioned CTA.